Hey, it's David again with Solar Edge Pros. By now, hopefully you've met with a few solar companies and heard what they're prepared to offer. Once you've met with each of them, they should have given you some special keepsakes, like spec sheets on solar panels, inverters, and maybe even a blank contract. You can learn more about spec sheets in our other videos if you'd like to take a look. Okay, now we'll go ahead and just dive right into some more key things to consider. Evaluate equipment and technology. Not all solar panels are the same. Not all inverters are the same. You'll need to do some research on the proposed equipment each installer wants to put on your property. Check out reviews and research their performance and reliability. If one quote seems significantly cheaper than the others, then watch out. This could be a huge red flag. It's not uncommon for solar bros to show specs for great panels or inverters, only to then install completely different ones, assuming that the homeowner won't know the difference. Yikes, talk about a turnoff. If it seems too good to be true, then it probably is. Review contracts and warranties. Carefully read through the contracts from each company. Ensure you understand all the terms and conditions, including payment schedules, warranties, and maintenance agreements. What will happen if they go out of business tomorrow? What will happen if you decide to see other solar companies? Will your warranty be voided? Seriously, if anyone tampers with your solar panel system, that could void your warranties with your installer. Speaking of warranties, verify their length and coverage for equipment and installation workmanship warranties. Remember, equipment warranty and workmanship warranties are not the same thing. Ask questions. Don't go eloping with the solar company. Get to know them first. Will their Scorpio moon mix well with your Leo sun? Do they love Taylor Swift as much as you do? Clarify any doubts or concerns you may have about the installation process, maintenance, or system's overall performance. Still a little unsure if the whole solar thing is right for you? Maybe ask to speak to some of their past customers to hear about their experiences. Verify permits and insurances. Double check the company you're hiring to do the job will be the one obtaining permits and approvals. No one likes being catfished. Companies that subcontract out the work typically have the subcontractor obtain permits and approvals. Customers may have a difficult time ensuring the hired company will uphold promises or any agreements made with the solar company since by law they did not get the permits and did not do the work. Consider all the information you've gathered, including costs, equipment, astrology charts, warranties, and customer reviews. Then choose the one true solar company that best aligns with your needs and budget. Choose the one that's excited about this journey as much as you are, because going solar is a new revolutionary experience that deserves to be honored as such. Chances are good you're the first person in your entire family tree to own a power plant. That's huge. Hopefully your installer respects that. Thanks for watching. I'm David, and if you haven't already, give us a call at 210-401-9030 or visit us online at solaredgepros.com for a free solar consultation. You'll be glad you did.